what's up guys i gotta try and finish this video before the rain comes and today i want to talk about the most important variable with regards to your training and nutrition uh, but actually this applies to life in general as well so what am i talking about well when i was a kid okay when i was a teenager uh, i started playing um call of duty Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it's online multiplayer, first person shooter. If any of you have played this, you know how good this game was and how addictive it was. Um, so I used to play this game for hours every single day, hours on end, literally all day. I would skip school to play this game, like I absolutely love this game. I wasted so much of my time playing this game. But what I found is because I enjoyed it so much and because I did it for so long and because I'm a naturally competitive individual, I got really good at that game, like really, really good. And another example is with my training. Now I've been training for 16 years. Um, I absolutely love it. Like it's not a chore for me to go to the gym. It's not a chore for me to train to failure. Like I actually enjoy the pain of training to failure. I actually enjoy, you know, um, some of the discomfort that comes around with um, restricting nutrition and uh, being careful with what I eat. I enjoy those things and because I enjoy those things, I get good results. So really, you know, what you wanna do is find a way to fall in love with the process. Find a way to enjoy the difficult things which are gonna take you where you need to go. Because if you have two individuals, okay, and one person is the most disciplined individual, he always does what he needs to do. And then you have another guy who, you know, he's, he's not relying on discipline at all. He's doing the same actions, but he's doing them because he wants to do them. He's doing them because he enjoys them. He's doing them even though he's suffering and even though it's painful and it sucks. He's doing it because he has trained himself to love those actions which take him closer to his goal. Over the long term, who do you think is gonna win? It's obviously the guy who's having fun because you can only reply, you can only reply, you can only rely on discipline for so long and eventually it's gonna run out. But the guy who's having fun, well, they will do that until the, the day that they die, if they can, you know? so. The most important variable with regards to your training and nutrition, you know, it's not, it's not your training, it's not nutrition, it's not your lifestyle, it's not your sleep, although those things are all very important. It's just loving the process, loving the process of going from where you are right now to where you want to be. And I see this mistake all the time that coaches make and just people who are just getting into it themselves. They have this idea that, um, you know, it, they need to suffer or they can't do things that they enjoy or they can't eat foods that they enjoy and they have to suffering equals progress well not necessarily like what if you found a way to love what you do what if there was a way that you found to you know even do things which you know might seem not very pleasurable what if you found a way to enjoy them because you re you do realize there's people out there who have never cheated on their diet for years. They've never gone over on their macros or, you know, they've stuck to their, their calorie targets for years at this point. And how did they do that? Well, they're not relying on discipline. They just enjoy the process, okay? There's people who haven't missed a gym session for years and pro likely will never miss a gym session. Why? Because they enjoy it. They're falling in love with the process. So what I invite you to do is, number one, figure out, what do you want in your life? Like, what are you going towards? If it's with regards to your training, are you trying to get in the best shape of your life? Are you trying to improve athletic performance? Uh, you know, what is the goal? You need to have a target. What are you aiming for? What's, what's the destination? And then figure out the steps that need to happen for you to go from where you are right now to where you want to go, okay? And then some of those steps along the way are likely, they're not going to be very enjoyable. They're, they're, they're probably going to be uncomfortable. You might not want to do them sometimes. Sometimes you might not be feeling up for it. Well, you've got to figure out a way to fall in love with the process and to love doing the hard things. Because if you fall in love with the process, if you enjoy the pain and the suffering, you will do better than the vast majority of people out there who are just relying on discipline and just gritting their teeth and just trying to do it because they know that they should. 
That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.